Good afternoon, Your Honor, members of the jury. My name is Mia Vidishka, and I'll be representing the prosecutor in tonight's case study. The defendant was accused by my client for first-degree murder. Tonight, we will be briefly reviewing and discussing the three main components that must be proven, including the following. Who Gabriel Fernandez was and what happened to him, the trials regarding the murder, and lastly, the impact of the case. We will begin by discussing who and what happened to Gabriel. Gabriel was born on February 20th, 2005 in Palmdale, California. He first lived with his two uncles, Michael and David, before moving in with his grandparents in 2009 due to his grandfather's objection of his uncle's same-sex marriage. By 2012, Gabriel moved in with his mother, Pearl Fernandez, and a set under oath and in Time magazine so she could gain his welfare benefits. When Gabriel moved in with his mother, Pearl, he also moved in with his mother's boyfriend and stepfather, Azario Gure, and his two siblings, Ezequiel Fernandez and Virginia Fernandez. While Gabriel was living with his mother and stepfather, he experienced extreme abuse and neglect. According to the criminal website, Gabriel was locked in a small cupboard that was handcuffed shut every night and sometimes during the day. It continues to say he was hit, kicked, and shot with a BB gun. Gabriel ended up being fatally beaten on March 22, 2013, leading to his death two days later on March 24, 2013, when he was only eight years old. Members of the jury, as, we as you continue your duty to determine whether the defendant is guilty of committing this crime, we will continue on to the next factor of evidence, the trial. Both Isario Gure and Pearl Fernandez were taken into custody following the death of Gabriel. Law enforcement questioned the statement given by Pearl stating that Gabriel fell in the bathtub and was not breathing. Due to the excessiveness of Gabriel's injuries, the trial soon went underway. First was the trial of Isario Ogure. Azario was accused of first-degree murder, hate crime due to his homophobic measures towards Gabriel, and torture. As stated by the rap, the first thing he told law enforcement when they responded to the 911 call was that Gabriel Fernandez was gay, which confused the officers. The trial called upon two crucial witnesses living in the home and Gabriel's siblings, Ezekiel and Virginia. The two witnesses gave us insight on life inside the home and the heinous crimes they put Azario uh, and Pearl put Gabriel through. During the trial, the jury found Azario guilty and sentenced him to the death penalty. Soon after, Pearl pleaded guilty so she did not have to face the death penalty and was sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Due to the importance of this case, four social workers, including Stephanie Rodriguez, who was 35 years old, Patricia Clement, who was 69 years old, Kevin Baum, who was 41 years old, and Gregory Merritt, who was 64 years old, were also all accused of child abuse and falsely justifying public records. The four social workers were charged due to the impact they had on Gabriel remaining with his mother and stepfather while being severely abused and neglected. After reviewing the first two determinants, we will continue on to the last factor of evidence, the impact of the case. The murder of Gabriel was brought to national attention, educating and informing people on the seriousness of child abuse and neglect. The accusations involving the four social workers led to public demonstrations against DCF, also known as the Department of Children and Families. According to Channel 7 News, protests sparked chanting the words justice for Gabriel during the trials regarding the murder. The problems in DCF were brought to public attention, educating and uh, were brought to the public attention. Citizens wanted change in the system due to the four social workers' failure to fulfill their obligations. Protesters believe that the four social workers should be charged due to the impact they had on the murder of Gabriel. The murder of Gabriel was a national phenomenon educating and informing people on the seriousness of this major issue. Based on the evidence presented in this case study, the prosecute case study including the following, who Gabriel Fernandez was and what happened to him, the trials regarding the murder, and lastly, the impact of the case, the prosecutor asked the jury to return a verdict that the defendant is indeed guilty. Thank you, Your Honor.